Whether you are an ex-player or someone simply interested in the game, I'm going to give you a few reasons why you should play Albion Online in 2019. The first reason I believe you should play Albion Online is because of the new and updated tutorial. In the past, Albion kind of just threw you into the game, gave you a slight sense of direction uh, with a few different side quests and stuff, but there wasn't an official tutorial. Now we actually have a separate island off of the main continent that is dedicated specifically for a tutorial zone and you are also surrounded by other players also doing the tutorial. It's a quick tutorial so it's not something that takes super long but despite the fact that it's quick it is packed with tons of information that really help you get through the game without doing too much hand holding. Albion still gives you the challenge of having to figure a lot of things out for yourself, which I like because a lot of games currently give you everything you want instantly. This game makes you work for it, but gives you enough direction to show you how to get there. Now, the next reason I think you should play Albion Online relates more to in-game mechanics, um, but a lot of things wrong with the game caused a lot of people that previously played the game to fix. Now, thankfully, Albion has great developers that over the past few months have really listened to players, even put polls up and had them vote on features they want into the game. And they've worked really hard to fix a lot of the problems. And I know one of the issues a lot of people had were that solo play was basically impossible just with the nature of the game. Um, and they've taken slight steps to fix that. Solo play is definitely more of a viable option now. It still is hard. Part of me, <laughs> not to be mean, kind of wants to say, hey, if you die while playing solo, suck it up. It's, it's part of the game. I think I find it a little bit fun. There's some people that get all mad and toxic when they die, but then there's others that are like, man, that was a really exciting part of this game. You know, that old school MMORPG feel of, hey, there's actually risk in this game and I have to actually be careful to what I'm doing. And I think, especially if you're someone that's only experienced new MMOs, it's a great way to get into a feel of old MMOs and experience what MMOs were like in the past. Now, the final and probably biggest reason I think you should play Albion Online is because the game is finally free to play. I know that sounds crazy for Albion Online, but here's one of the issues. A lot of people were really interested in this game and then immediately turned off when they found that at released Albion Online had a price. I believe it was $30 or somewhere around there because the game for years was originally planned to be free to play for everyone. And then Albion ditched that and therefore lost a lot of people that really wanted to play the game either because they couldn't afford it or they figured, hey, if they're going to make the game cost money, it's probably going to turn into some sort of a pay to win title. Thankfully, there really isn't any pay-to-win aspect to Albion Online whatsoever. Like, just due to the nature of the game and how it works, it would almost be hard for them to make it pay-to-win. So it's, it's very fair, and your skill and how well you perform is really based on how much time and energy you put into the game. So, it's not pay-to-win, but it's not free-to-play just yet. It will be free-to-play April 10th. By the time you'll see in this video, um, it'll probably be free-to-play within a week or two. So, thankfully, if you've had doubts about the game and wasn't sure if you were going to like it and didn't want to spend a ton of money, I think now's a great time to try it out. I know me personally as a gamer, all the time, I'll buy games and then I realize like, oh, I just wasted like $60 on a game that honestly kind of sucks and probably isn't worth my time. But now that Albion is going free to play, you now have that option to Try it out. And hey, if you don't like it, you can uninstall it from your computer. But if you decide to like it, awesome. You can play it for free now. And it's not one of those free to play titles where it's a limited free to play or a free to play tutorial. No, the entire thing will be free to play. No payment whatsoever will be required. And I think that is going to be a big factor drawing tons of players into the game. Anyways, guys, that's why I think you should play Albion Online in 2019. I think you should at least give it a shot. I know a lot of people have looked at the game, and there's been a lot of poor things said about it, but Albion is one of those games that followed the trend of a lot of MMOs in recent years where the release is honestly pretty bad, but listen to their community, and after a few years and a few updates, 
make it a pretty good game and I've been enjoying it a lot. I was someone that played the game a lot in beta, so I understand how this game has changed. It was pretty good in beta and then it got pretty bad around release, but thankfully they've changed a lot of things now. It's really fun and I definitely think you guys should check it out.